from cornfields to car factories, the American Midwest helped Donald Trump stage a stunning upset. But it wasn't just farmers and factory workers who put him over the top. Lots of affluent, educated women, the people pollsters told us would never vote Trump, turned out for him in large numbers. Trump voters are every man, and they are everywhere. We went to one of Wisconsin's most prosperous counties to let some of them have their say. Robin Moore isn't a cliched Trump supporter, a blue-collar white male. She's a wine consultant and sometime life coach, head of the Republican Women of Waukesha County, Wisconsin, and a key part of the coalition that helped President-elect Trump win the state for the first time since Ronald Reagan. These Trump supporters say they feel absolutely no buyer remorse. We hear from, from those who are running for office um, the big things that they want to do. And in reality, we know that that's not likely to be the ultimate. Like um, when Donald Trump says, I'm going to build a wall and, and we're going to deport a whole bunch of people. That's the step in the right direction, but it's not the totality of the, of, of the comments. It has to be done in a manner where it's, there's a process you know, um, because you can't, you can't just round up people and throw them back across the border. That's just, that wouldn't be um, proper. It wouldn't be prudent. Uh, it wouldn't be the American way of, of doing things. Artis Cerny says Mr. Trump was only her fifth choice oh, yeah. in the Republican I primary, which he lost in Wisconsin, we but now she's sold. She says she hasn't been able to wipe the smile off her face since Mr. Trump clenched his nail-biting victory. What I see making America great again is bringing back the American dream, letting people know you have the power within you to make your life great. Let us help you to do that instead of putting all these government regulations out in the way of businessmen without giving all this free stuff to make people think this is how we make this is how we're going to have our greatness, by getting the freebies from the government. No, this is rugged individualism. That's what America was built on. I guess I get angry when the liberals talk about the fact that we are, um, what's the word I'm looking for? That, that we are against black people and racist and all this kind of stuff. In my mind, we are all equal in the eyes of God, all of us. There's absolutely no difference between any of us. And they keep calling it racism. They're the ones that keep bringing up that word. Valerie Hauk is such a keen Trumper that she sports a rhinestone Trump bracelet that she made herself at the Wisconsin State Fair and always decks herself out in patriotic garb when she pops into the GOP victory office. And now with all the conflict with, with the racial conflict and things too, um, that's worrisome. It used to be back in the day, we all had friends that were, you know, other races and things and, and uh, you know, now it's so much more divided. It's become a, a place where we're always concerned and worried and, and have to be on guard and, um, you know, it just, it, it wasn't like that when we were younger. Erosion of Midwestern white privilege clearly touches a raw nerve for these voters who blame the Democrats for ruining the culture of rugged individualism, which made America great the first time around. But Robin Moore, relaxing at home on her sun porch, holds out hope for a new dawn in the Midwest. But a little more than half of U.S. voters reject this vision. Some have even been taken to the streets in protest. Mr. Trump's support runs broad and deep in the white Midwest, but there's more to America than smokestacks and shopping malls. It'll be tough, even for this consummate electoral magician, 
to build a coalition that can reach across the chasms that have opened in the American body politic and be a president for all Americans, from sea to shining sea and from factory floor to wine warehouse. Patty Waldmeyer, Financial Times, Waukesha County, Wisconsin.